Oh, I missed the rev, dude. Good morning, guys. Happy New Year's. Today is gonna be a day that my brother can finally see his car in one piece. We're finally getting the whole car done. You know, we got the door on there. Uh, we got the side fender on there, and today we're getting the headlight on there, and we're changing the bulbs. We're getting everything 100%. As you guys can see, we also have the bracket, so that means that this car should be drivable by the end of the day. Um, we haven't seen the extent of the damage yet. You know, we haven't driven the car to the point to where uh, we could test out the axles and stuff because we did buy it salvaged, so we don't know if there's any undercarriage damage that needs to be noted. We're hoping not, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, repair these headlights and take it out for a drive. It's gonna be sick. As you guys can see, my brother helped me do the front end. He did the front end as most as he can. He had to go off to work, so I was like, you know what, I'll take care of it. Um, so I finished up the front end. Headlight looks really, really good. Um, everything fit into place just perfectly. That's a good thing about using OEM parts. You don't have to deal with making new holes and stuff. So everything went in perfectly. The car came with extra bolts, so that was perfect. Now is a moment of truth. We're just gonna test out both headlights one more time, and then we're gonna take out the car for a spin. Hopefully there's no cops around, because obviously this car's not registered. I just wanna make sure the car is good before we go register it. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping there's nothing un underneath the car that's messed up. Hopefully everything's fine. My brother can finally, finally drive his car. As you guys can see, it looks great. That one's very, very clear. This one needs to be uh, resurfaced. But as you guys can see, the rings work, the lights match. This is good, guys. That is very good. Front end looks beautiful. We're in the car, boys, and uh, we're gonna test it out. Um, so as of now, on the dash, if you guys look on the dash, we got a, we got a tire pressure line. If I let down the e-brake, that goes away. And when I put on my seatbelt, so all we got left here is the tire pressure light. Everything seems to be okay. Engine sounds fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to take it out for a spin real quick. Uh, I'm gonna try to record as best as I can, but it's gonna be kind of hard uh, while driving this thing. This close to scratching my car. Oh my lord, the things I do for you guys. Getting off the driveway for the first time in a while now. My brother has no windshield, wipe, windshield wiper fluids and it says we have a trunk light. I bet you that's just the sensor. Door's locked, that's fine. Putting out from the road right now. Everyone's looking at me all weird. They're like, what's up with your door and your foot? Everything's messed up on the driver's side. I wish it was on the passenger side. It wouldn't be as awkward. All right, so checking everything. Well, you guys are checking everything. I'm just gonna drive and put the camera everywhere I'm supposed to look. Wow, it actually drives really smooth. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit 50 at least in this corner right here and uh, see how the car treats me. I'm starting to hear a little bit of uh, uh, wind on this door. Clearly, uh, maybe the door is not 100% sealed. Uh, I have to check that out in a little bit. But other than that, car runs pretty solid. That was me flooring it in drive, not even sport. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the car right here. Sorry for my camera work, guys. I, when I have my cousins here, probably record a couple more angles before I end this video. That is one healthy car, boys. That is one solid, healthy car. Uh, that's what I like to hear. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, park my brother's car outside because uh, my car deserves to be inside. I miss having my car inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and park it right here. And um, yeah, so far, really, really happy how it turned out.
As you guys can see, the car is not here anymore. We are officially parking the car back outside, which is great news for me. That means I can get my baby back inside. Um, because my baby's beautiful, you know. Gotta take care of my own baby. Right now, I'm gonna clean up the garage. Make sure the garage is super, super clean for my dad. Uh, he has been tripping out a little bit about it, but he hasn't been tripping too much because he knows this is what I do. But uh, he's tripping, he's tripping hardcore. So I gotta hurry up and clean up the entire garage and while I'm at it, I'm gonna clean his car, give him a win-win. Um, and then probably head over to my cousin's house, I drop off a few things, some garbage. Um, they have like this giant garbage bin over here in the houses. We got like a little, little tin can. But so far, really, really happy with how my brother's car turns out. Drive straight, sport mode works better than mine. 130,000 miles works better than a car with 60,000 miles. Um, you know, it's crazy. It's just the transmissions on the 330i's are never ever the best. Um, his is running perfectly solid. Fingers crossed, it's good on the highway. Everything's good. Um, just, it's an amazing car. We got it for a really, really good deal and I'm happy for my bro. Uh, he's a hard worker. But um, all things aside right now, let's just go ahead and clean up the garage for my daddy. By the way guys, if you guys are wondering what I use to clean my car, I basically just use a little, it's kind of like a duster for cars, um, literally called, it's called car duster, um, made in California, whatever, who really cares. Um, but I use this to pretty much wipe clean my entire car every single day when there's any dust, pretty much, if you have a wrapped car, you would know that it attracts a lot of dust. So this thing really, really does help. If you guys want that, it'd be, I have a link down in the description, but uh, let me show you guys my dad's car right now, looking very fresh. Um, but since it's black, I'm not usually like used to cleaning black cars. Like from a distance, as you guys can see, it looks super, super clean. But if you come up super, super close, what are all those lines? I'm calling out BMW Fanatic, Justin Buse, and Simply Car Things to help me out with this. I know you guys all have black cars, but if you look at super, super close, you guys can see all those water bubbles, and like if you look at an angle, what is all of that? Like, why isn't it clean, man? I washed it. I used towels. I did everything, man. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Hey guys, so this is actually the night. Unfortunately, my cousins did not want to wrap the car. They feel super, super sick. My other cousin, he's just tired. So I was like, you know what, guys? We're not gonna force you. Uh, we're heading off to New Year's ourselves, so um, it's probably a better thing to just relax. My brother is really, really, really happy. He's so excited that his headlights are finally functioning. The car sounds really, really good. Let me show you guys how it looks. You guys see the car, and if I focus it in on the halos, It just looks so bright and clean, oh my god. 
We go down here. It's really, really, really clean. So my brother's gonna take it out for a spin. It's the first time I think he's actually driving his own car. So yeah, let's get his reaction. Go for it, dude. This is pretty much my brother's first real drive in his car. With the quarter panel pulled out. It is kind of night, guys. Sorry about that. But look at them headlights. Wait, does adaptive work? Yeah, they're working, right? I don't know. Yeah, I can see it going. The, uh, the light is adaptive, so that's all. That's all the driving you're gonna do. I'm gonna go out, man. Huh? Alright, alright. You guys gonna race? Oh, the kite. Two cops now. No way. Honestly, doing too much. Doing wait three cops for this. Couldn't just let the kid, you know. I think he's just gonna give me a ticket, though. Guys, there's not one, there's not two, but there's. I knew this was gonna happen, bro. Right? Just knew it. I even told them. No, they will let us leave. As long as, as long as we don't rip it, dude. You're exhausted. Yeah. Don't, don't sure, try to go. For sure, they're gonna take his motorcycle. Oh, um. Dude, they're gonna. When they call for when, when they pull you over and they call for backup, that means he has. Uh, he's been. They've been looking for him for a hot minute. Oh, I missed the rev, dude. All right, guys, so this is New Year's. Um, I forgot to record an outro, so I'm at a hotel with my family right now. We're all chilling. Um, but yeah, I gotta have an outro for this video. Uh, so if you guys did actually enjoy this video, please smash that like button. And I mean, we have some really crazy things going on with my brother's car. I don't know if we're gonna be doing the wide body series soon. Um, it is something we're gonna end up continuing. My brother still wants to do it. Um, but we're gonna fix the quarter panel and wrap the car in a color shifting color. If you guys have any ideas of custom, you know, color shifting wraps, link is down in the description. We really wanna check it out. Uh, he's just, he's open-minded to any color shifting. He just wants to, you know, roll with me. Color shifting's gonna be so dope. So, happy new year's, guys. I know this is about, to, this is the day after, but I mean, it still counts. What's funny is I made my channel on January 1st, 2014. That's kind of crazy. It's like, I literally made it after new year's 2014 came a long way guys see you guys in the next one peace out she got me saying yalla ho baby i need you to see me quit with the front and then put your guard down girl we know you ain't easy she got me saying yalla ho baby i need you to see me quit with the front and then put your guard down girl we know you ain't easy you know you're all